Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. <laughs> Take him where I get him. That's right, Griff. That was a good victory. I wonder if turning the power on over here is just going to be a big mistake. <laughs> it's just going to let like a bunch of monsters out. Bring a hunter down, or a hunter, a liquor on me. Alright, MUF. Wayne Lee, he was sleeping. Dear God, blood everywhere. What the hell's happening? They're dead, all dead. It was those men in the black USS headquarters, special forces. But why? It's their job to protect us. White brains in a sea of red. This can't be happening. Dear God, why? Everybody says I was a genius. A genius like me can't die in a place like this. I will win the Nobel. I'm a hero. I'm a genius. A God. I will not die. I will. Because he died. I need to do anything over here? Nope. Yeah, we found Wayne Lee. <laughs> Alright, so. That was kind of worth it. I mean, even though we didn't get much else, it's like, hmm, we found a file and we found Wayne napping. It was nice to solve that mystery. Because I was like, what? Where's the rest area? Like, where is he at? And then when I saw it on the map, I'm like, um, I guess we'll go unlock good old Wayne. It's funny because it's like, it's, it's like the remake of the first video game where it's like, this is recognizable, like this area here. I remember this being a, a place, you know, like in the game where it's like these split catwalks and stuff. But, um, it's also kind of like, Ooh. Oh, I do remember this lab. I think this is the lab you had to get like two fingerprints in. Maybe to get you. I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's. it's oh, blue herb. It's, uh, it's recognizable, but at the same time, it's like, so cool looking. Like, this looks so neat. Um, it looks pretty standard, too, but at the same time, it's like, it looks cool. I dig it. Please don't make a laser room like the movies. Okay, no laser room. Hey, Martian cat, what up? What up? Martian cat, what's up? What's up? She's a cat. She's a Martian. She's a Martian cat. <laughs> Sorry, I can't be more excited. I'm super tired and it's 6.49. My roommate should be leaving for work soon. Holy shit. But um, that's not going to change like my energy level, unfortunately. I thought it would. I'd be like, oh, I could be more excited and louder now. But no, I'm going to be too tired. Dude, look at this. It's like two eyeballs. Freaking Terminator hand. What is that? It's like a heart and an ear. Come on. You're good, Seek. <laughs> hey, cat. Everybody send cat some love. Wow. I just keep getting the same types of I think uh, uh I get the same types of uh, gunpowder. Is this another gunpowder? Ah, oh, this is a regular gun Oh, that's makes acid rounds. Never mind. Yeah, they just keep giving me the same types of gunpowder. I mean that's fine and all I guess. Okay. 
have any gunpowder in here? I mean, I have no handgun ammo. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's on the pendant. Look at that. All right. Oh, thank goodness. Hell yeah. Got it. Thank God. The antiviral agent. Gotta get back to Sherry. Research diary. Embryo growth observations. After the G embryo was in play with the subject. We made a 50 centimeter incision from the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid GCS 10. Uh, however, the subject's consciousness level deteriorated and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Breeding. Ugh. After two hours, 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with an embryo. All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during experimental experimentation took their own life. We administered the G virus to subject 628. Hey, that's that kid from the orphanage who had shown slight resistance to the T virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a close relationship. Those were the two friends. No way at the orphanage. 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration caused by the G virus. Angel, what's up? Welcome. Yeah, no puzzle for once. I like that. Um, welcome, Angel. How is everyone? Yeah, tired. Grifter just got home from work, and a little bit ago, John Lee's waking up, and I have been up all night, and I am very tired. So this is their lab, William and Annette Birkin. Mm. Oh, we're done using this too? Okay. Oh my god, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Alright, let's go save Sherry. We got this, they called it Devil. It's a weird name to call a cure. But then again, this umbrella, where they think they're doing the right thing by making monsters, so. Oh, shit. What the? Dude. Your ass again. Whoa. What the, what the fuck happened to her? Whoa! She one shot at him. What'd she hit him with? Whoa! What the hell is this thing? I mean, if you think you're doing the wrong thing, <laughs> it's true. I'm gonna say they did. They did more with Annette in this one. They didn't do that fateful moment where he injected himself. That's crazy. Ah, uh, she couldn't kill him. William. I should have killed him while I had the They chance. did a pretty good job with the net in this one.
Dang! Dude, he's evolving. He's turning into the dog. Pretty awesome. She let she let Annette go be the mom. That's oh shit. I should have brought more ammo. Okay, that sucks. I guess I can't dodge that. I have no health on me either. I mean, I have like a red herb and a. Tits. Shut that eyeball on the tits. I don't know what that means. back eyeball. Damn it. Damn. That fucking move. I think I'm dead. These flame rounds don't even hurt this fucker. continue. We'll see. If we die again, then that means I don't have the right ammo. I have to hit those eyeballs with uh, these things, but the flame rounds just aren't doing shit. Maybe we'll start with the shotgun. Try to get a couple shots in that way. Listen to the music, it's like Code Veronica music. Shit.
shit. Oh, damn. Damn, dude. I got straight up stuck in that corner. That sucked. Crane. Yeah. Just grows new shit. Damn, I'm stuck in this corner now. We're dead. Whew. Wow, we're dead. I need health. I need to go back in and get health. I didn't, I wasn't expecting a fight. I was like, I figured, eh, maybe something will pop out, but I didn't think we were going to be in a boss fight. So I'll run and get all the health in my fucking inventory. I'm too tired. I don't have, my reflexes are shit. I cannot fucking beat this guy, I don't think. Um... Let's do this. Get rid of that. Get the acid rounds. Mixture blue and red. That doesn't do shit. Oh, here we go. Is it my only fucking herb? Oh, we got health spray. Um, these don't do shit, but I'm going to keep them just in case. Yeah, I guess we'll keep the handgun. I saw some bullets down there. Whew, okay. Red this time, though? Red this time what? the hardest. Shit. Come on. Oh, 
we'll get all this shit. Dude, holy crap. So maybe they only grow back once? I hope so. Yeah, it looks like it. Wow. Wow. Okay. Nice. Okay, that was luck. I'm just going to double check that I got everything. Yeah, the map says I got everything. Because if you pass something on the map, it'll it'll write it on the map where stuff is. So. Whew, oh my god, dude. That was a battle. So we're out of those. Look at all the near misses. We got health wise. We got the two. Still got two of those. That's good. Still got two grenades. And now our handgun has bullets. That's awesome. Whew. Thank you, Marsha. Thank you. Thanks, Kat. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate your face. Appreciate your face. Gotta get back to sharing. You know, we gotta see if Annette, like, actually did the mom thing and saved her own daughter. Alright, let's see. We still have ten acid rounds. So we're gonna take those. Um, let's see, what else? grade gunpowder. We don't have anything to combine it with. At least not right now. Um, handgun bullets, that's good. High powered bullets, okay. We got a lot of handgun bullets. It's nice. It's a nice change of pace. Um, until we find a green herb, I mean I'll just keep the red herb on us. Ooh. 
What a night. Am I right, guys and gals? I have a feeling we're going to get our um, level 4 clearance from Annette, though. I think she's the only one I saw with a wristband on that had level 4, minus um, William Birkin, obviously. Oh, thank goodness. That was, that was a nice change of pace to give Annette, like, add some humanity to her a little bit, you know? Or from her corpse. Well, you know, that's what I was implying. <laughs> Ever played this game before? Is this still in the beginning of the game? No, we are like near the end. Like we are straight up. We gotta be near the end. So I'm probably spoiling a ton for you. Oh. Grifter says four hours to go. <laughs> I mean, they did add the orphanage, kind of. Like, so, I don't know. Maybe they could add, like, sure another right. section to the lab, sure. She'll be weak for a little while, but... Yes. She's free of the G-Virus. There's your clearance opening. <laughs> uh, 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 there it is. I think she's internally bleeding. She got thrown around like a rag doll. There it is. There's our clearance, yo. Yeah, she got murked. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, she got tossed, man. Oh, Jesus. She hit that wall like she did. That shows a lot of strength in her to pull herself together to help help her daughter. What? Jeez, these guys, these people really effed it up, didn't they? The G-Virus left the building like days ago. He was upstairs, like, trying to kill me earlier. First of the North, Fist of the North Star you moment, you, yeah. Okay? God, it's been a long time since I've seen Fist of the North Star. Because Annette in the Resident Evil 2 games, I mean, she worked, you know, just being like the, you know, about, uh, you know, she's like the bad mom, you know, she's, she cared more about her work than her kid and everything, but I like that they added that little bit of humor. It just makes her character a little bit more impactful, more well-rounded. It's nice to see her, because I'm sure when you're playing Leon's game, she probably comes across as like a total, you know, like a total bad word. <laughs> um, but I'm sure this is, you know. Faster. I don't want to rush you, but we have to go. All right. Um, so you know, I'm I'm sure it's like, you know, it's probably great to have that like filled out in the character because I'm sure you know when actors play these roles and voice actors and stuff they're kind of like, eh, can my character do more? You know. <laughs> but uh, looks like this time they were like, yeah, cool. How would your character like to save her daughter's life? What you think about that? Um, but it also gives the other characters things to do because my, my biggest thing about like the Resident Evil live action movies is that everyone is like there for Alice. It's like, oh, Alice is the best. We got to save Alice. We got to do this. It's like, it's like she's she's just like a total Mary Sue. <laughs> it just really drives me crazy. Um, 
like there's characters that don't even they're like they pick up a gun and you're like oh they're gonna shoot the bad guy and save the day and then they throw the gun to Alice and you're like what <laughs> like you can't even shoot the gun um whoa that's awesome So this is like nice. It wasn't like the Claire show, you know. She she depended on. She's like, look, I'm gonna. If, if anything happens to me, I'm not. I'm not Sherry's mom. You go and save her. Plus, you're the scientist. You probably know what to do. I don't. I don't have all night to try to figure out what, how to save save her with these, you know, virus and antivirus and machines. So look at that. And the elevator brings you right down to this, huh? Sweet. But Alice, though, you're the opposite of what? Uh, I love Mary Sue's. Oh. <laughs> well, they, they're, they're entertaining. Mary Sue's have a, an entertain. Ooh, have an entertaining aspect to them. Um, but uh, after six movies of it, I was just kind of like, can someone else like do something? And it was like, oh, Claire killed like an executioner. And I'm like, yay! And then the executioner gets back up, and and then Alice has to like, <laughs> like, Claire can't even duck for herself. Like Alice has to pull her down when the axe comes at her. You're like, you're like, Claire can't even duck, bro. You know. <laughs> you're just like, how? It's too. It's too much. It's too much Mary Sueness. <laughs> Alice Trisdoderton. What? <laughs> I'm a sucker for them. <laughs> um, I mean, I, I don't know. I feel like we just saved, but uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. We'll just do it again. Sorry. Oh, whoops. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. I meant to pause the game so we can see that I've been playing for 6 hours and 15 minutes. I'm telling you, when I'm more awake tomorrow, we're gonna have a fun time playing Leon's, because I'm gonna explore the shit out of that that uh, police station. Damn it! We got Ivy guys. Dang it! Another blue herb. Can you guys give me green herbs? These Ivy guys are awesome. Ah, thank goodness. There we go. Venom. Thanks for checking out the commands, man. Yeah, they should should work. Oh wow, look, it's Ivy. So this is cool how they're integrating this because these are like these are in different areas in the original Resident Evil 2 game. Where you're like climbing down the long ladder and the IVs are like all around you. So it's kind of neat. For Sherry, okay. Of course. Stupid thing's locked. Hold on. Sherry, what are you. I think I can open it from the other side. Oh. Oh, of course. Damn it, your tummy sucks. Come on, Mofo. What? Oh. Oh, thank goodness. Trying to find bullets. 
trying to find bullets. Thank goodness he dropped. Oh snap. Sherry, you in there? <laughs> have you done Last of Us yet? I have not. I have not played Last of Us yet. But I will. I'm sure I will. At some point. I gotta play God of War and we gotta finish the Spider-Man DLC and we gotta finish uh, the South Park. We're about like maybe three-fourths through South Park and we have two Spider-Man DLCs left. We're gonna try to squeeze those in between like now and like end of March. Um, but mainly we're just gonna play Resident Evil games all year. I'm not really wanting to buy a ton of games this year. I'm like stacked up on bills right now, medical especially. Luckily I got a lot of help because I have health insurance now, so the bills are way less <laughs> than they were before. So they're not that much of a headache, um, but still it's like it's giving me an opportunity to try to catch up on things, which is nice. Um, so, uh, so yeah, it's, I guess we don't need anything. Oh, wow, dude, the car. Look at this. What's up, room? <gasps> what? What? Whoa, 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 okay. We gotta make room for this guy. What? A minigun? I don't understand, what am I missing? There's a battery missing. Just curious. Yeah, no, I haven't played it yet. Um, but I would like to. Heard a lot of good things. There we go. The joint plug. Wow. What are you doing? I gotta get this train moving. I need you to stay right here, okay? Okay. I Claire's, I won't Claire's a badass. Good. Be careful. She kind of starts off where you're almost like where I was a little worried about her because she was so like. Hey, it's good to see you again, Leon. We're gonna make it through this, you know. And I kind of a little bit was a little worried. <laughs> I was like, yeah, why is the actress portraying her this way? Um, but then I think, like I said, she gets she gets humbled kind of pretty quick. Um, I don't know how it is in Leon's game, but in her game, she seems to really buy into the fact that zombies exist pretty quickly. Um, whoa. Leon? But I guess you, when you're in the situation, you kind of, it's like, what, what's the point of going, no, come on, they can't be zombies, zombies aren't real. You know, I guess there's no point in doing that when you're staring at a zombie. Think, think we can all make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon, I'm sorry, you're breaking up. Don't worry about me. Uh, get out of here. Psh, like you would know. It's too scary Leon. for you. <laughs> it's what I bought the PS4 for, so it was worth it. You're talking about um, The uh, Last of Us? Yeah. That's cool. No, I, I saw the trailer for the second one. It looks, uh, I mean, and the gameplay footage. It looks amazing. Um, I, ha I still have never seen anyone play the first one. Maybe like 10 or 20 minutes of it, but I've never seen a full playthrough. So, it would be nice to do a blind playthrough of that. Uh, John Lee says, Psh, I can peek at it through my fingers. Oh, snap. Oh, I should have moved. So, they, they put this fight here. battle. Damn. Let's, uh, let's heal. Damn, 
as, as quickly as I'm shooting the eyeballs off, they're growing back. He's got to reach, but it's like, come on, man. I was doing alright with the Gatling gun and now it's up. I'm getting grenades. <laughs> I just got a handgun bullets. Knives. You got this, you got this. Scenario A or B. Um, I guess so. Our first place was. Oh shit. We're done. We're so done. Shooting in his eye sacks. looks like a reboot Laura Croft <laughs> without her jacket. She Sometimes she looks like Sarah Connor, too, from Terminator a little bit. Or 
RIP, man, RIP. I think I've only died like six times, maybe, maybe seven. But um, it's pretty good. Thought I would do way worse. All right, let's start with the uh, Gatling gun. Surprised they give you that Gatling on a four and a bullets. Like I must have missed a ton of bullets when I was shooting him. Okay. All right, it's working. Clear. Oh yeah, we saw all this. We can skip it. Go go go. Dang it. Try to cut that corner quicker, but how the fuck? How the fuck? Next time when you get the Gatling gun, just don't miss, <laughs> like I did. I must have wasted a lot of shots our first round. Yeah, the quick turn does exist. I can't remember. I did it earlier on accident. I think it's something with the jo one of the joysticks. Um, it's like a joystick in a circle or something. I can't remember, but it, yeah, it's quick turn. It works. Much more gooder. Hey, thanks. We did it. I think that was the final boss for a scenario. So it's like a weird feeling playing this because it's like, uh, I mean, really there's no real surprises in this game. Everything was pretty faithful to the original version. It just looks great, it sounds great, the voice acting's great. They added a few new little things. I like the touch of the orphanage with the kids and the, the two friends. And I like how that journal paid off in the end when they talked about how they experimented on those two kids. Um, so yeah, they, they did a good job in this. I can't wait to play Leon, uh, this is scenario B. Which we'll do later today, obviously, not right now, but I need to go to bed. I'm so tired. So I can't wait to have actual energy for you guys. Um, but I'll come back tomorrow after you. I'm off all day tomorrow, so I'm going to wake up. I'm going to sleep until like noon, wake up, eat lunch, um, and then uh, edit a YouTube video, History of Resident Evil Part 3, The Project Wesker. And once I get that uploaded, then we'll start streaming. So it'll probably be like around 2 or 3 in the afternoon tomorrow. Maybe 4 in the afternoon. And again, we'll play all night. We'll, we'll play as or, until I'm, you know, until I'm like this. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. Claire! Hey! Leon! It's so good to see you. I told you we'd make it, didn't I? You did. Hmm. 
that's not how it really ended. <laughs> Yay! You know, Capcom has to fix Sherry scenario in RE6. Um, why is... Oh, why? why do, what do they got to fix? Yeah, so I had, I had... I think there was early rumors. The stream timer. Oh, yeah, I know. Right at one hour, huh? Sweet. Finished right on an hour. Sure did. I planned that shit. It's fucking... You know what, you know what it is, though. You know what it is, though. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, man. What a cool... It, I'm, this was cool. I think the real fun for me, though, with this is, like, all the new bonus games. Like, I know Fourth Survivor and Tofu are on here, but, like, when they do Ghost Survivors and some of the other things they have planned coming up, I think that will be a lot of fun. I think that's where my most of my replay will come in because the, the campaigns are great. Um, I love Resident Evil 2, and this was really fun. I can't wait to play Leon B, and then at some point we'll play Leon A and Claire B. Um, but uh, as far as replayability, like you know, I think I I think I'm gonna probably dive into the bonus modes more. Um, Michelle Lee, I think that's the same Michelle Lee from Venom, if I'm not mistaken. I think I saw her post something about this on Instagram. I can't remember. Um, but she's like a stunt woman. She's in the Venom movie. She's like the um, the lady who gets. She's like the the medic that's driving the truck. That um, uh, what's his name? Riot, like, you know, inhabits her body for a while. But she's like an awesome stunt person. Because on the remake, Sherry was a was cured of the G virus of the original her blood carried the G vaccine same thing with this one I would assume um, because she she I mean the, I know Lynette says oh she's cured of the the G virus but they said that in the I think they I mean I don't know I guess you're right I don't know if it's that big of a deal actually um, I know what you mean now you, you're right it's the way they phrased it in this one compared to how they phrased it in the original Resident Evil 2 um, so yeah, you're right about that. But I don't think it need they need a remake six. I hope they don't, because I'd rather just pretend six never happened. I think just Res Evil one, two, and three need to be remade. And as much as I love Code Veronica, we kind of got like a Umbrella, what was it? Umbrella Chronicles or Dark Side Chronicles version, where they kind of retold the story a little bit that way. That, I'm good enough. I'm fine with that. That to me is fine. I love Code Veronica. It's my second favorite Resident Evil game. Uh, like, it and 2 are kind of tied for my favorite. But um, this one edges it out just a little bit. And uh, I don't really need to see Code Veronica remade. I think just 1, 2, and 3. Just just the Raccoon City trilogy. What if they make 6 good? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, I mean, it's can't make it worse <laughs> the thing about six is that for for content it's great like if if you paid sixty dollars for that game you got your money's worth because it was four different campaigns one that you had to unlock and it was a they were the the gameplay was fun the problem was it just had a really dumbass story um so like when it's available now for twenty dollars that's an insanely good deal to me as far as content goes um I like playing the game. It's even more fun with a friend, but I I hate that storyline for six. I hate it so much. Um, I don't doubt that they're gonna remake three. I don't know how long it'll be. I hope we don't have to wait seventeen years for it or whatever since the Resident Evil one remake to this one. Maybe it was like thirteen or fourteen years, but no, wait, it was longer. No, it was uh, two thousand one or two. So like, yeah, no, it's been a while. It's like sixteen or seventeen years. So. Yeah, I would say Resident Evil 3. Um, I think Where's Barry said that in one of the areas we were in in the police station, there's like a hole in the wall. And apparently Barry heard, or there was like an interview where some Capcom guy said that that was created by Nemesis. And it's like, eh, I don't know. Can you believe it or not? I don't know. I mean, they, none of the report, none of the journals in this game mention Nemesis, you know, or like a giant creature coming after everybody. What I'm really blown away. I can't wait to play Scenario B now, because I'm wondering if Mr. X when last time we saw him, he got cut in half. So I imagine 
he has a more pivotal role in in the beast scenario I hope anyway um, that was cool to see him in that A scenario though that was pretty fun um, and how the tyrant is on RET remake is a perfect example of the nemesis yeah he's just except he doesn't come into save rooms but uh, I was kind of glad he didn't because because <laughs> that was intense but yeah, I could, I could see, um, I could see Nemesis being remade. That'd be fun. That's a fun game. It's got a good story too. Considering it was thrown together in like eight months, that's not a bad, not a bad Resident Evil game. I know it's a lot of people's favorites. Oh snap! It ain't over. You gotta play that B scenario, yo. Claire Redfield, standard. Speaking of bees, hey, I got a bee. Saved 25 times. I could probably save half that next time. Um, six and a half hours for a first playthrough, not bad. Resident Evil 7 took me like 13 hours, and then on hardcore mode, because we played on normal mode, and I didn't do easy this time. I was gonna, but I didn't. Um, but a hardcore mode, I think, took us like 14 hours, 15 hours. Time for be yeah, no, time for bed. <laughs> um, I got a bunch of DL like like bonus stuff with unlockables obtained. Welcome to the City of the Dead concept art, Path of the Goddess concept art, some a model for Sherry and Leon costumes. Um, wow, we unlocked a lot of crap. Hey, hide and seek. New game second run has been unlocked. Select it under story from the main menu. The ending and certain parts of the game are different in the second run scenarios. Also, don't call them B scenarios. They call them second run. Um, sweet. So yeah, I got I got like a bunch of weapons. As you saw them in my inventory chest, I never used them. I was like, eh, we'll save them for B scenario. Um, there's like Wesker's gun, Leon, I mean Chris's gun and uh, gun and Jill's gun uh, from Resident Evil 1. And I like that whole thing where they, they totally had Chris like lying. Like he was like, oh, I'm going to go on vacation to Europe. And then he's like writing Barry like, hey, Barry, make sure, you know, don't come here after me because, you know, I can't fight all these, you know, I, I can't compete with you when it comes to the women. And it's like he, he's like pretending to be a real douchebag. And I kind of like that Claire is like, you know, like, I, I don't understand this. Why is he acting like this? This is not Chris. And it's like, no, because he has to pretend like he's in Europe, you know, having fun and not actually hunting Umbrella. Uh, so that's pretty cool that they put that little thing in there. I thought that was cool. The Super B.O.W. enters any of the save rooms, you're not safe. Uh, that's true. <laughs> that is definitely true. But Nemesis was able to come into a few save rooms. Oh, my God, guys, I'm so tired. So, can you select who you want to play as? Yes. Yes, you pick, uh, you, I think you pick before you start the game. Or maybe it's right at the start of the game, I can't remember, but, yeah. Yeah, go to bed. Yeah, I'm going, Griff. Thank you, man. Hey, thanks for the subscription tonight. I appreciate that. Um, yes, I'm going to go to bed now. I'm so, so tired. Thank you for that clip. I'm going to, I'm retweeting your clip right now. Where I sing the pipe song, I'm gonna lay in bed and and listen to it and fall asleep. Um, like I said, I'm gonna sleep. It's 7:45. Holy shit! I gotta walk my dog. Um, I will be back around maybe like three or four in the afternoon. So you know, where's Barry? I think he's gonna be getting up soon. He'll probably be playing all morning. So make sure you check out his channel. Chris is using code words to Barry. Yes, he's using code words exactly. Um, Joe after work. Where's Barry? All of those guys. I think they're all playing today. Goldheart. I don't know if she's playing, but if anyone else is playing, um, definitely pimp your stream. Let people know in the chat how they can find you, or if your favorite streamer is streaming, let us know where they are at, so we can check them out too. Um, now that I've seen Claire's scenario, uh, I'm gonna make sure I avoid 
Leon scenario, watching anyone play it, but I'll probably go watch Where's Barry's um, Claire playthrough from tonight if it's on his YouTube channel. I'll probably go watch that and have that on while I'm going to bed. So, uh, so where's Barry? I hope this isn't Seek's blood. All right. It's the one hour and ten minute marker. It's a good time to end. Thank you all for being here so much. Um, I will see you later today. And make sure you check out my YouTube channel. I have my first two episodes of my History of Resident Evil up. I worked really hard on those videos. Uh, they Those videos have humbled me. They, they took like 10 to 15 hours each to edit. Um, so that's not what I'm used to when I make YouTube videos. I'm used to kind of cranking them out. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy those. And I'll have more stuff for you guys later. Peace. Bye, John. Bye, Griff. Bye, everyone. Peace. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?